Hey everybody, it's Miss T from the Children's Library of the Plainfield Public Library. Thank you for stopping in for another special story time. Now today we're going to take a special visit. We're going to visit Keats' neighborhood. You're wondering, hmm, who is Keats? Well, in this case, we mean Ezra Jack Keats. Writer extraordinaire, legendary stories. One such we'll be reading today is Whistle for Willie. how Peter wished he could whistle. He saw a boy playing with his dog. Whenever the boy whistled, the dog ran straight to him. Peter tried and tried to whistle, but he couldn't. So instead, he began to turn himself around, around and around. He whirled faster and faster. When he stopped, everything turned down and up and up and down and around and around. Peter saw his dog Willie coming. Quick as a wink, he hid in an empty carton lying on the sidewalk. Wouldn't it be funny if I whistled, Peter thought. Willie would stop and look all around to see who it was. Peter tried again to whistle, but still he couldn't. So Willie just walked on. Peter got out of the carton and started home. On the way, he took some colored chalks out of his pocket and drew a long, long line right up to his door. He stood there and tried to whistle again. He blew until his cheeks were tired, but nothing happened. He went into his house and put on his father's old hat to make himself feel more grown up. He looked into the mirror to practice whistling still no whistle. When his mother saw what he was doing, Peter pretended that he was his father. He said, I've come home early today, dear. Is Peter here? His mother answered, why no, he's outside with Willie. Well, I'll go out and look for them, said Peter. First, he walked along a crack in the sidewalk. Then he tried to run away from his shadow. He jumped off his shadow, but when he landed, they were together again. He came to the corner where the carton was, and who should he see but Willie? Peter scrambled under the carton. He blew and he blew and he blew. Suddenly, out came a real whistle. Willie stopped and looked around to see who it was. It's me, Peter shouted and stood up. Willie raced straight to him. Peter ran home to show his father and mother what he could do. They loved Peter's whistling. So did Willie. Peter's mother asked Tim and Willie to go on an errand to the grocery store. He whistled all the way there and he whistled all the way back home. 
And when we get to the last page of any story, we say, the end. And that was our short visit to and through Keats's neighborhood. Ezra Jack Keats, that is. And the story, once again, Whistle for Willie. Now, to all of my whistlers out there, let me hear you. Can you whistle loud? Okay, not so loud. Don't get yourself in trouble. And to all of my whistlers out there who have yet to even make a sound, let me hear you. Okay. Okay, it's a little quiet. Okay, so work on it, right? That's what we all have to do. Whistle for Willie is not just about whistling. It's about trying and trying and trying again. So you may get frustrated, you may get a little mad, but guess what? Before you know it, that sweet sound of whistling, you got it, will come out loud and strong. So go ahead, don't give up on yourself and be just like our friend here who wanted to whistle for Willie. Well, thank you so much for dropping in. And until we read again, be safe and so long for now.